All right, so in this case, this is a little bit of a backwards question. So, but we'll see if we can treat it as a collision. So in this case, we've got a bomb. So, and initially we're told this bomb is stationary. So that does not mean this bomb is a lovely, beautiful piece of paper. So what does it mean in this case, stationary? It's not moving, which means what's the initial momentum of this bomb? Zero. Zero. So after the explosion, if you look at the total momentum, all fragments combined, they're going to be going out in different directions. What should the total momentum add up to? Zero. So if you look at this, it's kind of like it's a collision in reverse. If all those fragments you rewind come back together, they all stick so, and end up with no overall momentum. And so the reverse of the process here would be what kind of collision? So think about it, all these fragments come together and stick. It'd be perfectly inelastic. So this is the reverse of a perfectly inelastic collision, but the math all works out the same. So, but it, first of all, it's a collision. So what's conserved? Momentum. Momentum. Will kinetic energy be conserved? So how do you know? It's the reverse of perfectly inelastic. Sweet, but before you even realize that, how do you know? Because it starts off with zero kinetic energy and ends up things are moving. So it has kinetic energy. So definitely kinetic energy can't be conserved here. All right, so in this case, let's map out these fragments here. So we've got a, at the, this is the before picture, by the way. Now let's look at the after. I'll try and do these in different colors here. So we've got one mass moving to two kilogram mass, moving with a velocity of 100 meters per second directly north. So I'll put up as north, so we'll have North, south, east, west. All right, so there's one fragment. Then we've got another fragment moving directly south. It's a four kilogram fragment. It's got a velocity of 50 meters per second. We've got a third fragment that weighs two kilograms. Where's this one moving? Right, so here's west, and so here it's going to be moving 30 degrees. Oh, you're right, that's east. Let's draw this on the other side, make this easier. So this thing weighs two kilograms. So in this case, there's west, and there's 30 degrees north of west. And this thing's got a velocity of? 100 meters per second. So the question is, we got this fourth fragment that weighs four kilograms, and where in the world is it going, and with what magnitude of velocity? So the velocity here, we want magnitude and direction. So in this problem, I've kind of doctored the numbers to make it a little easier, but in principle, these numbers could have been anything. So in this case, is this one-dimensional problem or a two-dimensional problem? It's two, so now the momentum is going to be conserved both in the x direction, east-west, and the y direction, north-south. We know that to be true. So if we look at this, we're going to break up every one of these momentums into their x and y components. So going back, let's make another chart. We're going to have fragments one, two, three, and four, and then we're going to have the x component of the momentum and the y component of the momentum. Okay, so let's look at the first fragment. What is the momentum of the first fragment in the x direction? Zero. Zero. Great, it's not moving east-west at all. What is its momentum in the y direction? Uh, 20. Oh, 200. 200, awesome. Kilogram meters per second. Great, object number two, fragment number two, I should say. What's its momentum in the x, y, or sorry, in the x direction? Zero. Also zero. Good. So it's south, so I'm going to call that negative in this case. Great. Object number three. This one we've got to break up into components. So in this case, the mass is the mass, but what is the x component of object number, or fragment number three's velocity? What? Yeah, 100 
cosine 30 is the x component of the velocity. And what's the y component of the velocity? 100 sine 30. Okay, so what's the x component of its momentum? 86.6. Careful, that's the velocity. And how much does this thing weigh? Two, Two kilograms. Oh, so if I want the momentum. I'll round it to 173. All right, and Y component? And that's north or south? Okay, so that's positive. Great, and oh, by the way, is this east or west? west? West. Convention says east is positive, west is negative, like plus X minus X, we'll make this negative. All right, so at the end of the day, if I add up all my X components, of the momentum, they have to add up to what? And if they're going to add up to zero, then what's fragment four's x component of its momentum? Great. So if you notice, I doctored the numbers to make this a little easier on us. So in this case, what's the y momentum have to add up to for all fragments? Also zero. So this one has to be. Cool. So let's map this out then. So fragment number four has a mass of four kilograms. And in this case, we can see that it has to move somewhere down in this direction. So, and the X component is 173 kilogram, ah, kilogram meters per second. And the Y component is, yeah, negative 100 kilogram meters per second. So in this case, what is its overall momentum? What is the magnitude of its overall momentum, I should say? It's, um, so it's actually, yeah, 200 kilogram meters per second. And what angle? Um, 30 degrees south, south. Good. South of east is that direction. Fantastic. So that's the momentum, but does the question actually ask for its momentum? Velocity. It's velocity. So in this case, it's equal to mv. And what's his mass again? Four kilograms, right? Yeah. So then what's his velocity? Well, 50 and then 30 degrees. Good. 50 meters per second at an angle of 30 degrees south of east. Awesome. Now again, I doctored the numbers here a little bit so that we, the math wouldn't be quite so bad, but on you know typical problem you get on your homework, the numbers are gonna be crazy, but end of the day, they would still have to add up to zero, things of a sort.